Today I want to show the most important concept about Rhythm. It's basically that you have all the different visual modes you can select from over here. And you can just look at the background, which is not changing when I change the mode. So I'm going to the Rhythm mode. You can see the background is still the same and the foreground changes. You go to the Peer mode, you can see the background persists. Fractales, same thing. Mandala, you see the background as well. And that's the idea. You can choose a mode. That's the foreground of the visuals. And when I click here on the menu, I can go to the background tab. And then I can combine one of my modes with a certain background. And here with them becomes to be very powerful because we have tons of different backgrounds to choose from and to combine with your currently selected visual mode. So for example, I'm here in the equalizer mode and now I want to go from a sci-fi background to one of my favorite Nova backgrounds. That's pretty cool. And um, when you look down here for, for every of these backgrounds, we have tons of different variations. When I just click through them, you can see we have all these different things over here. And when I go for a tunnel effect, for example, I can use space travel tunnel, the magma tunnel, all that kind of different things. Same goes for the particles. We have various particle effects over here. We have some video loops. You can also load your own videos into Rhythm. That's also possible. And we have these sci-fi backgrounds. There are some different ones out there. So you can go crazy with discovering backgrounds and combining them together with your favorite visual mode. And that gives you so much flexibility and variety of different visuals to achieve. So hope you have a very good and creative time with that one.